Hello friends, you are watching a Rudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Hello, this is Rudire to show mechanical balance navigation system using SolidWorks Pro solution. For this analysis, we have considered one cubic shaped house at a length, width, and height equals to 5 meter. This is the model. You can see the model from one side. So, this is the location of the inlet fan. From inlet fan, we will be providing air from the bottom part, and air will be circulating throughout this whole house. And at this location, we will provide some kind of barriers to provide a uniform flow at all these locations on the house. And finally, this is the exit locations of the exhaust fan. From this exit, exhaust will go out, and that will be forced out from this exhaust fan at this location. In this analysis, our aim will be to see the dynamics of flow particles inside this house. And at the same time, we see the pressure and temperature distribution inside this house. Okay. So, for starting this solution, we have to start from flow solution, and the solution environment will be initiated with the wizard itself. The default name of the project we are keeping as project 2. Next to that, in which system we consider SI systems, unit of pressure is considered Pascal and temperature unit as usual degree centigrade. Next to that, it will be an internal analysis. And in this case, heat connection is not that much of involved, but as we are taking air from outside at temperature 30 degrees centigrade, so we can consider heat connection solution also, it is not necessary. Next one, gravity will be involved because hidden air has a tendency to go up and the direction of gravity will be y. So it will be minus 9.81 meter per second square along y direction and along z it will be 0. Next to that, definitely air will be default gas. Next to that, default material for this house, we are considering this one should be made up of bricks. And let us consider this one brick and blocks. Next to that, Default of the work under conditions and roughness will be considered. Next to that, so atmospheric temperature is 30 degrees centigrade and pressure is 1 mm per cubic Pascal. Let us finish this. This is the computational domain. We can hide this part for putting some initial conditions and boundary conditions. Let us hide this. Next to that, we will provide what? All definitions or initial conditions. Material has already been provided. We are considering single material only that is made up of bricks. For providing these initial conditions, let us have a segmented view of this model. We can cut it from front end. You can see this is the model. So we can select initial conditions. We can select conditions from here and we have to provide fan, external inlet fan, and it will be predefined as we are considering the low. Pressure of fan, so it will be a shaped fan. And from this one, we can select any type. Let us select GMC products with higher specifications as axial fans. Let us select this one as the inlet fan. So, fan is provided at this location. We will check. Next to that, we will provide another fan at the exit location. So, you can rotate a little bit to see the exit location. Insert fan, predefined. In that case, it will be external outlet fan predefined again actual flow and as usual we are considering the previous one that is GMC products with higher specification fans. This is the location of fan selected. Next to that, we can select some goals. We can select some global goals, but at the same time, we can select some surface goals also. Insert global goals. Let us consider average temperature feed. Average total pressure. Next to that, we will select some surface bolts. Insert surface bolts. We have to have mass for it at entry and exit location. This should be one definitely. Let us select inlet location, mass for it. And we have to select exit location also. And we will provide separate bolts for each of them. Definitely, as for continuing preparation. Mass for it and both entry and exit should be equal. We'll check this one. We'll check. Now it is ready for solution. 
we have done this one so we make calculations so what we have already started the calculations we can select all the goals next to that we can see that we use in the form of sketch front end and settings we can see this of pressure we can see temperature of fluid and from image attributes we can see the lower size 400 by 300 this is the temperature of fluid excluding that we can see pressure of fluid also let us select another part that is going to see pressure of fluid and temperature of fluid settings it will be pressure of fluid So this is the survey group. You can see this is the pressure distribution. Initially, pressure is very high. This is the red zone, and this is actually the temperature of heat. The initial pressure and temperature is high at the inlet location, and exit it is very less. And also, you can see here, average temperature of fluid is 30 degrees centigrade, and average pressure is 1.1308, little bit less compared to atmospheric pressure. And total temperature is increased by 0.301 degrees centigrade. And mass flow rate is almost equal. As per continued equation, it should be equal mass flow rate at the entry and exit levels. Okay. Let the iterations move on. Whenever iterations are finished, we will see the results and go for detailed analysis. And finally, we will see our main thing that is dynamics of flow particles, that is how the air particles will be moving. From this small house, okay. Out of five gold plots, three of them have already been conversed. At the down level, pressure is little higher, and at the top surface of this house, pressure is very less. You can see the survey is finished, and from these two diagrams, it is clear that average temperature of fluid inside this room is almost constant. And Pressure is little bit very, pressure at the bottom part is little bit more, and as it is approaching towards the top side of this room, pressure is little bit less. Okay, so now we'll see the results from the cut plots and we'll see our dynamics of flow particles inside this house. Let's close this. Initially, you want to see the results from cut plots. Results. Insert cut plots and we have to see temperature of fluid from front end. Let us play this. This is temperature distribution of fluid inside this house. You see, down portion temperature is high, it is indicated by red color, and as it is approaching closer. Top portion of the house is temperature is little less. Right? You can see the isolated view of this one also. Next to that, we will see pressure distribution. We will see distribution of pressure from front end. Graduate. Let us see from front view. And we can play this view. Let us play this. You can see the pressure is almost constant at a specific height. As height is increasing, pressure is decreasing. At the bottom part, you can see pressure is in the red zone, that is high. And at specific heights, pressure is changing. It is less. Middle pressure is in green zone, then it is light blue, then top part it is blue zone. So as height is increasing, pressure is decreasing. Okay. Let us clear this. Clear height. Next to that, we have to see the surface plots. Insert surface plots. And we will see temperature distribution across the boundaries of the 
Wow. So do it. Then I jump solid. And we want to see all phrases. So it is showing temperature at the boundary of a house. So it is having mixed type of temperature. Top part is in the range of 30 degrees centigrade. Now once it is, it is in between 30 to 30.01 degrees centigrade. Okay. Let us clear the hypothesis. Next, we are going to see the most important part that is dynamics of flow particles inside this house. Right? For seeing these particles, let us take a segmented view of this model and select that specific locations. Okay. Insert fruit and leaf freeze. We to have 20 numbers of particles and it should be in the form of arrows. Let us make the particle size to be 0 0.03 meter and instead of pressure we will see temperature of fluid. Let us select the location from which it will be circulating. This is the inlet location of fan and let us select the exit of the fan also. This is the exit of the fan. So it is clear right now the dynamics of flow particles you can see. Inside this house, we can see that we are having all part of the house to be filled up with air particles, and from the top part, exhaust is going out. Right? It is better to see all these dynamics of flow particles in the form of an animation. Let us play this. All the portion of the house, air flow is there, that means it is in balanced air circulation inside this house. This way you can create different parts of the house and provide control the flow rate of air inside this house by providing some kind of barriers. In this case we are not controlling the flow rate of fan by changing the speed of the fan. In this analysis we can do one thing like as we are importing the fan we can import different types of fans like inlet fan and exhaust fan we can vary and you can see the variations inside. Let us see the isometric view of this house. So throughout this house, you can see four particles are moving. You can see this from front end. You can see the dynamics of flow particles. This way you can have desert amount of flow of air inside the house. In this analysis, we didn't change the speed of the fan. Instead of that, we can change the different types of fan and you can see how the flow rates are changing. And if you want to change the speed of the fan, in that case, what we have to do? We have to provide one fan or we have to provide dummy spaces at this location and from physical parameters we can control the speed of the fan at a different location and see how the dynamics of flow pattern are occurring inside this house okay so this is all about our today's analysis this is a very simple analysis through which you can see how the dynamics of flow patterns are occurring that means how the air particles are moving from inlet to exit okay thank you all of you for watching this video thank you again Bye. If you like this video, please subscribe and share. And if you have any kind of doubts, please write to me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you again. Bye.